inside the show. And now your host, Justin Allegri. The beginning of the work week and welcome to Inside the Show. Starting in the AL West, the Mariners allowed only five hits in the game as they grabbed the win against the visiting Athletics 5-3. In the standings, the Mariners sit in fourth place in the American League West, while the Athletics are third in the division. The Minnesota Twins knocked out 10 hits as a team as they defeated the visiting Angels 4-3. At the start of the day, the Twins sit in second place in the AL Central Division and the Angels are leading the AL West. The Texas Rangers snapped their five-game losing streak as they got a win over the Astros in Houston 9-4. As of right now, the Astros sit in second place in the American League West and the Rangers are at the bottom of the division. Clint Frazier doubled down on home runs while driving in three, leading the Yanks to a win over the rival Red Sox 6-1. He also extended his hitting streak to a modest eight straight. As of today, the Red Sox sit in second place in the American League East Division, while the Yankees are atop the division. The Nationals completed a three-game series sweep as they beat the O's in Baltimore 4-1. It was their fifth straight victory. Entering the day's action, the Orioles are in last place in the AL East, and the Nationals sit in fourth place in the National League East division. The Indians finished off the four-game sweep as they beat the visiting Rays 4-1. The win was their fifth straight as a team. In the standings, the Indians sit in third place in the American League Central, while the Rays are in second place in the AL East, the Detroit Tigers hit three long balls as they beat the Royals in Kauffman Stadium 3-2. At the start of the day, the Royals are in last place in the AL Central, and the Tigers are fourth in the division. The Padres earned the four-game series sweep as they took down the Fish in Miami 5-1. As of right now, the Marlins sit in last place in the National League East, while the Padres are in second place in the NL West. The Mets earned the three-game series sweep as they blew out the Jays 10-3. As of today, the Mets sit in second place in the National League East division, while the Blue Jays are in fourth place in the AL East. The Braves went deep four times as they got the best of the Phillies in Citizens Bank Park 10-6. The win was their sixth in a row. In the standings, the Phillies are in third place in the NL East, and the Braves are atop the division. The Chicago Cubs allowed only five hits as a staff as they took down the visiting Diamondbacks 4-2. Heading into the day, the Cubs are atop the NL Central, while the Diamondbacks sit in fourth place in the National League West. The St. Louis Cardinals put up 16 hits on the day as they got past the Reds in Cincinnati 14-3. At the start of the day, the Reds sit in second place in the National League Central, while the Cardinals are fourth in the division. The White Sox pitched well, allowing only three hits as they took a victory against the Brewers in Milwaukee, 13 to nothing. Entering the day's action, the Brewers are in third place in the NL Central, and the White Sox are leading the American League Central. The Dodgers brought out the rooms in a three-game sweep as they bested the visiting Rockies, six to nothing. As of right now, the Dodgers sit in first place in the National League West Division, and the Rockies are at the bottom of the division. Mitch Keller collected win number three this year, helping the Pirates push past the Giants 3-2. Heading into the day, the Giants sit in third place in the National League West Division, and the Pirates are in last place in the NL Central. And that'll do it for today. Enjoy the games, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Inside the show, here's your host, Justin Allegri. Hello there, baseball fans. Let's recap what went down around the league on Monday. Starting out west in the American League, the Rockies put together 10 total hits as they pulled off the win against the Angels in Orange County, 5-4. The Houston Astros picked up 14 hits in total as they grabbed the win against the Seattle Mariners 10-6. The Boston Red Sox combined to give up just five hits as they took down the visiting Blue Jays 5-4. The Chicago White Sox amassed 14 hits in the game as they beat the Royals in Kauffman Stadium 5-2. The Tigers knocked out 10 hits as a team as they pulverized the Twins 7-1. The Atlanta Braves combined for 10 hits as a team as they took care of the Mets at City Field 5-1. It was their seventh straight victory. 
The Washington Nationals totaled 13 hits as a team as they knocked out the Fightin' Phils 8-2. They now have six straight victories. Eugenio Suarez was a major force at the plate with six RBIs, helping the Reds down the Cubs 10-5. He is among the National League leaders in home runs. And that's what's going on around baseball heading into today's action. Join us again tomorrow for more updates from around Major League Baseball. A1, I ain't talking steak sauce. Run this now and I'm a great boss. Run this, it ain't for the weight loss. Matter of fact, I'm trying to be the cake boss. Fill up the bag. To the brim right there. Standing in the shine, make a dim right there. Gospel truth, yeah, that's him right there. That boy stay by the rim right there. Step my dough just like a speed low. Tell the Uber, pick me up on Pico. Yeah, got some in the back like some mosquitoes and i never play myself you get ammo on the placebo these scenes getting them looser than that's how it is and primo is the feeling when this trio get down to biz i heard you need a hit got the gloves you've been nolly with the slip shower me with love already bathing and drip <laughs> this ain't a skip blue chip on the mission finna dip pole position low been a long time coming haters gonna be part time loving It all I promise. It's a promise. This been a long time coming. Haters gonna be part time loving. Putting up some all time numbers. Hang the banner. They ain't catching up at all I promise. I ain't never fallin' for no punk fake. Yeah, yeah. Everybody know y'all like the funk fake. Yeah, yeah. They won't stick in with me like some duct tape. Coming easy to me. Do that in one take. Yeah, yeah. Got a mask in. Where your mask is. This is really me to cap been out the bed. Summer sun is nearly set, and now it's time for baseball at Petco Park in San Diego. Tonight, the first of two in this interleague matchup between the Oakland A's and the San Diego Padres. It's Padres baseball on the show, and it comes your way next. Chris Paddock, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over five in his last three starts, so he's going to have to really improve on that one. Too many base runners, too many hits, and too many walks. He needs to get off to a good start and maybe throw up a zero in the Leading first inning. So Oakland. now here is Elvis Andrews. Elvis. He'll get us started in this Andrews. one under the lights. Now the first pitch. And underway downtown tonight as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Guys, the swing and Friars as they take the field here tonight. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matty. Dan, this team is playing well. They're getting closer in the division race. I, I guess my question to you, I, I want to ask you, did you find that you started to really pitch better as the summer months started to get hotter? No doubt about it. Not only does the team start feeling better, but I think you get a good vibe starting to go throughout the clubhouse. You realize that the, the schedule is trying, starting to wind itself down. Every game is more important. The bigger the game hopefully the better you play and this team's been playing some really good baseball lately it's two and one to the A's leadoff batter swung on and chopped down the line at third scooped up and there's one gone to start the night the second baseman Tony up next, Tony Kemp. He'll be looking for better results in this one. He was 0 for 4 in the ball game back on Sunday. Here's the first pitch to him. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Popped up. Machado is there for it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. That is and now Matt Chapman. Baseman. First chance Matt. for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. 
Here's the pitch. Hey. A swinging oh, strike, and now it's 0-2. I know this guy has a lot of weapons on the mound, but what makes him so successful is that he's aggressive in the zone, getting ahead, forcing action. Here's the 0-2. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. A bouncer up the middle. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the A's. And now the Friars will get their first chance. No score. Jesus Lozardo gets the ball for Oakland in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, on now is Jesus Lozardo, one of the top young left-handed pitchers in all of baseball. He reminds me of a former pitcher in the Oakland A's going back to the 70s and 80s. Fight a blue. This guy's not a very big guy, but man, he throws a good fastball. 94 to 96 miles an hour. Good hard go. curveball. His slider is getting better. His changeup is improving. Lozardo has a chance to be one of the top five left-handed starting pitchers in all of baseball. And Dan Dero, this Oakland ball club entering play here tonight. It was another loss for him last time out, and that makes him two and eight over their last ten games. Yeah, guys, after the first four games on this road trip, they find themselves two and two, kind of par for the course. But they got to find a way to play a little bit better today, kind of turn the tide and get it working in a positive direction. Two mid-90s fastballs and you're down 0-2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pot commit. You're either all in on another fastball or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed. Late making contact on that swing and we'll do it again on one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Whoa, that's up there. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. The 2-2. Two -two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. That exactly. And the plate is Jake Cronenworth. As we take a look there at the difference in his numbers between June and July. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. And set up behind the dish is Gary Simmons, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, Dero, Gary Simmons, he's, he's one of those umpires. He'll give you one thing or the other. At times, his zone can be a little wider than he's a little more strict north and south, but he's a pretty consistent umpire. I just, uh, the key, Dan, is be consistent. You want to give him the inside half, I'm okay with that, but then you can't give him away. If you're going to stay east-west, you better pick one side. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Thank you. Fernando Tatis Jr. will be next. One out, nobody on. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one-out walk here in the home first. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. 
And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. He carries the eighth best batting average in the National League entering play. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball consider him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Throw over to first, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. Now the 2 0. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. And it's gone. So a two run shot to left center 24 home runs for him on the season as the Padres have taken a two to nothing lead. That's how the manager drew it up right there. Hold the visiting team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. Steps Manny Machado. The third baseman. As he'll swing and pop this Machado. one up near second base. Kemp is calling for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting pick. The right fielder. Will Meyer. Here's Will Myers. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. First offering on its way. Yeah. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me with the side retired. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 2-0 San Diego. So here's the cleanup hitter, Matt Olson, And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Man. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Olsen is a big threat in a matchup like this. He's got a ton of pop against right-handed pitching. Yeah, I think because of his approach. He's not a dead pull guy. You want to try and sneak a piece of cheese in or hang something over the heart of the plate, he's going to absolutely crush it. But anything going away from him goes right into his bat path. A ball and two strikes now. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. One of the toughest pitches to hit, the straight change of right El Cambio. Hadn't the seen it in that entire at bat. Number what happens? Gets the string pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. 
as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one in his career against this pitcher he's hitless in three at bats. Ball two now. He may be down 2 and 0 oh after those first two pitches in this AB, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. 3 and 0 oh to him now. Ah. 3 and 1. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but. That was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Three and two to the A's center fielder. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. Now the three and two pitch. Got him swinging in the dirt. Nola finds it. And he makes the throw to first. Loriano is retired. Two down now. And that brings up Chad Pinder. Chad Pinder. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh. Good pitch there down below the zone got him to go after it. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Two out, nobody on. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. I know he fouled that pitch off right there, but he was definitely out in front. He was cheating to a heater, no question about it. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. A's are gone in order. They're down two to nothing. And the hit will be Trent Grisham. He'll get us going here, here in go. the bottom Fourth half of the second. The center fielder, Trent Grisham. Here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. And he stays alive here as he gets a piece of this, and in turn, he gets a piece of the catcher behind the plate. Here's another 0 2. Hit sharply toward the right side. Piscotti is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Got it, got it. The first baseman, Eric Hosmer. Next to the plate for the Padres, Eric Hosmer. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's one for three. First pitch on the way. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Hosmer. Playing here in his age 31 season, he was selected in the first round during the 2008 draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. A ball and two strikes now. Uh -huh. 
swing and a miss on the fastball that time out number two. He's looking a lot sharper and has settled in here in the second inning. It'd be hard not to that because again. that first inning was Look pretty much it. a mess. Oh, but I give yeah. him credit for letting it go and making Hold some on. really good adjustments. That'll bring up Austin Nola as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. The numbers on the year 272 10 home runs and 33 driven in. Now the 1 0. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Swing and a miss on the heater and it's two and one. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Bases are empty here with two men out. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here three and one. Pretty good pitch right there fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher try to stand those hitters up. Just got a piece of that one perhaps shortening up now will get the ball in play. The three two pitch. Fly ball right down the line and left. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. Padres down in order. After two, it's a two nothing ball game. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last the inning. Right How did they get to him here? Steven. I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First offering on its way. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. This is in the air out to right field. No one can make a play on this one and the A's first hit is going to be for extra bases. And this throw gets away from him. That was a great job of driving that ball. Extending his arms very well was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. In at the plate is Sean Murphy. Nope. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Here's a guy who could use a three for four. He's got that batting average still down in the 190s. 11 home runs and the RBI counted 35. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. Nope. He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that one. One ball hey. and two strikes to the A's catcher. Here comes the one two and this one's in the dirt but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. And this misses so that'll fill the count at three and two. Wow talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. That it's not. ball four. The pitcher, number 44. Stepping in next, Jesus Lozardo. And he's Lozardo. looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. But a foul ball here, 0-1. From the belt, 
kicks and deals. And he pops up the bunt attempt. Paddock is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now batting. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. No balls and a strike to count. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Heading out towards shallow right. Coming in is Myers. He makes the running play. Two down. Two on, two out, and striding toward the plate to hit next, Tony Kemp. And now the first pitch. The 1 0 home ties him up inside with a good fastball. Piscotti at second. Murphy on at first with two down. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. Just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. Swung on and missed three and two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called, and a great pitch there to retire the side. A's strand a couple. They trail it here, two to nothing. Bottom of the third now, and next will be the pitcher, the Chris Padre. Paddock. The pitcher, Chris Paddock. First pitch on its way. Hey. He'll take that first pitch strike all day long. If they're going to take 0-0, he's going to pound that zone and get ahead. Much more susceptible down 0-1 than 1-0. This one's flared off to the right side. In there, a base hit. Hey, I'm not surprised right here this pitcher mixed in a knock. Playing in the National now, League, he gets way more opportunity to work Tommy. on his craft from the offensive side of the ball. Yeah. NL pitchers definitely have an advantage in these inner games. In now, Tommy Pham, as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. And it's fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. A ball and two strikes. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught onto their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. In comes Piscotti. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. One out now in the Number San Diego nine. third, Second and that'll base. bring up Jake Cronenworth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. As he'll lay off a curveball in the dirt for ball one. In there, and it's even at one. one Runners one. on first with one down. Inside here with the hard stuff, and it's two and one now. The count now at two and two. A 
flare out toward right center. In comes Piscotti, but he won't get there. It falls in. The throw to third. And he's safe. Beggars can't be choosers right there. Look, we love those long darts. Doesn't matter how they come. Jam off the end of the bat doesn't matter. And prior to the first pitch, he'll look to first. And he'll get back in standing. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Runners are at the corners with one man out. That evens it up one and one. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. The 1-1 one -one is looked at for ball number two. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Padre shortstop ahead with a three ball one strike count. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Runners are at first and third, one away. Smoke toward third. Chapman has it cleanly. The second for one. Relay to Olsen. They turn the double play, and that retires the side. One left for San Diego, as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. All set for the start of the inning, and that means Matt Chapman will dig into the plate. Now the first pitch. The 1 0. -oh. -oh. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up, or he can really hurt you. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. Struck out in his first at-bat. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Ball one to start the at-bat. And that catches the outside edge, one and one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Two and one to the A's first baseman. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. The 2-1. Strike two, swinging. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your point. And this gets on him quickly here and deflects off him. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. Okay. So here is Ramon Laureano, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Here's the first pitch. 
Chapman, a runner at second with one away. Here's a cutter that's off the plate, one and one. Swung on and missed, one and two now. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. Tatis ranges back and he has it for route number two. So now into the box the is Chad Pinder. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch on the way. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Drilled down the line. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. Throw into second. And he will make it up to second as he advances on the throwing miscue. My goodness. Now batting, right fielder. Just some more of the Steven. same from him. He's been clutch He's all year with runners in scoring position. And he does it again here with a double. Tack on another RBI to his season total. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit as he'll take a look at ball one. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Hit hard to the right side, but a foul ball, one and two now. A ball and two strikes. And strike three called as he says, you gotta be kidding me with the side retired. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Padres two and the A's one. And back at Petco Park in San Diego as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the Look veteran up, third baseman, Manny third Machado. Baseman. Manny Machado. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. High in the air out to center field. Loriano is there to take this ball in, and Machado is down on just one pitch. One away, and here's the 2013 American yeah. League Rookie of the Year, the power hitting Will Myers. First pitch on its way. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting the showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Still no balls and two strikes. The next 0 2. Hit back toward the mound. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. 
Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hit streak field. going. Number you know what? Two. And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. Pitch is high. The throw. The tag from Andrus, and they got him at second. Well, he just showed off why he's known for having one of the better arms in the league from behind the dish. He had a big lead at first, but it didn't matter. That was a great throw. Count even now at one and one. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw on to Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. We played four full. The Padres lead it two to one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And he really emphasized that they're not doing a very good job capitalizing on run scoring opportunities. With just one hit with runners in scoring position in the game, you can understand why he feels that way. But he also says he likes the way his guys are responding to the adversity. It seems as though they're keeping their energy and mood up. So we'll see if they can start coming through with some big hits as we go forward. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The catcher, Sean. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Sean Murphy stands in as he looks at ball one here. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Now the 1 0. -oh. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. And he misses two and one. Looks like double barreled action now in the San Diego bullpen as they get a lefty and a right hander up to throw. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Reined in. And a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The pitcher, so here now is the pitcher, Jesus Lozardo. He popped Lozardo. out in his first trip. Here's the pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Fly ball right down the line and left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting. The so it's back to the top of the Elvis. order now, and that'll bring Andrews. up the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Here it comes now to Andrews. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Andrews in an 0 and 2 hole here. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. A shortstop behind with a 1-2 and two count. Basic pitching right there. 0-2 fastball up and out of the zone. Change the eye level. Now time to go to that curveball down and away. High and deep down the left field line. And it's a foul ball. Count still at one and two. Now here's the pitch. 
And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. One, two, three, go the A's. They still trail it here, two to one. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in. He'll get his side started in the inning, and Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have that. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. Now here's the pitch. A high fastball is in there. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. A ball and a strike to the Padres first baseman. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came to the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. At the plate now, Austin Nova. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ball and a strike now. Now the one and one pitch. Is a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Two runs, four hits, no errors in the ball game for the Padres. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Now back, the pitcher. So now the pitcher, Chris Paddock. This is a textbook sacrifice situation, so let's see if that's the call. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. As he'll square around to bunt, then pull back for ball one. And he pulls back the bunt attempt. Two and zero. Oh. Can't fall behind against the pitcher. Need to minimize pitch count against the easy outs, and this is certainly one of them. Pops up the bunt attempt. Lozardo is there and he'll bring this one in. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Now back. Next Let's to do. dig in, Tommy Finn. He struck out and fly out 0 for 2 so far. First pitch on its way. In the dirt here, and no advance. It's ball one. One oh count. Here it is. At the ball. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Padres leave one. They lead it two to one. Now to the plate. Here is Tony Kemp. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't base. found its groove Tony. in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, we might have something. 
Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head into the middle innings. He's pitching quite well, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need to clean up moving forward. The 1-1 home. Swing and a liner, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Ready on one and two. Two balls, two strikes. Oh, and they pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Wow, this guy's mowing right now through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to hump up on a fastball and sailed on it. Three and one now. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. And the count will be full. Now the three and two pitch. And there's out number two. Now back. Here comes the Padre manager up out of the dugout yeah. heading for the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So as he leaves with the bases empty he stands to be the winning pitcher here tonight if the bullpen can hold up the one run lead. Your Emilio Pagan a six foot now two inch right hander jogs in to take over on the mound. 14. Emilio Pagan. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. From the stretch. Two out, nobody on. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach in 0-2 counts? My philosophy is this. I think the last thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone or just out of the zone. But something way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. A's are gone in order. They're down 2-1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up Jake Cronenworth. The, the second baseman. First Jake. offering on its way. Work. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. 
Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we can say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Fernando Tatis Jr. will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. He's set. Here it comes. Now the 1-0. Great job by the pitcher right there to put him in the proverbial rocking chair. Slowed him down, sped him up, slowed him down. Let's see where he's going now. Swing and a shot toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And the run will come in to score from second as now it's a 3-1 to one ball game. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, d -Roll. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run that end of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bomb, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. Here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Your Didn't please. pitch all that poorly, now yet he's gone 48. nonetheless. J.B. Wendelkin takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Here's Manny Machado now. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The 1 0. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Now a pickoff play at second, and he'll dive back in safely. Now a spin and another throw back to second. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Yep, that ball went out. And he misses again, ball three. Got a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. On the line, that's a base hit. Tatis rounds the corner and is headed home. Safe at the plate as they extend their lead to three. You love the aggressive base running right there. It's not easy to make that throw and give that catcher time to adjust his feet and get that tag down. No, very aggressive send right there. You take a chance, you hope the throw is a little bit offline, and that paid off right there. So here's Will Myers as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's 1 for 2 in this one. a little low there it's 2 and 0. Oh. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat starting right now. Now the 2 0 -oh home is offered at and missed for the first strike. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can.
hit in the air down the left field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Trent Grisham waits on deck. Machado aboard here at first with nobody out. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gone! A two-run home run off the bat of Will Myers. Number 18 for him on the campaign, and it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Number two. Standing in now, Trent Grisham. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. For his career in this matchup, just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. Wendelkin has pitched just under 60 innings. And in that time, he's compiled a whip under 1.3. Translation, he's better than league average in that category. Now the one and one pitch. Four runs here in this half inning. Swing and a little tapper. One and two, here it comes. Hit out towards second, right to him. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. And now in the box, Eric Hosmer. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. First delivery to him. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Here comes a left fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Up next to the mountain. Digging in now for San Diego. Austin Nova. It was a walk in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Ball, a ball and no strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he falls behind now, 2-0. Oh. 3-0 and oh now. Well, he knows it. But this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full. Three and two. Two out, nobody on. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time, and they stop the bleeding as this side is retired. So they score four times on four base hits. No errors, and no one left. We're through six full. The Padres on top, six to one. Now it'll be Ramon Laureano. Lifetime in this matchup. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Fam is there and he makes the catch for the out. Now, back. now at the plate Let here you. is Chad Pender. He doubled his Hinder. last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. 
looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Action now in the Padre bullpen as it looks like a right-hander is getting loose out there. Two and zero, the count to the A's left fielder. Hitters count. Here's the two zero pitch. In there, two and one. Faces are empty. One man out. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2 is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2 0 to start the at bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Into the box now, Stephen Piscotti, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Upper part of the zone there, but taken for a strike. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. Now batting, catcher. Next up for the A's, Sean Murphy. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 0 now. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. Two and one. Piscotti, the runner at first with two gone. Down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. Here's another two two. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. Now batting, the pitcher. Austin Allen will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Number 30, Austin Allen. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. With runners on base, two outs, and two strikes, this is a big next pitch for both sides. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here comes another 0 2. Ball. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Two men are on with two men out. Ball. 
now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number three. A couple of walks but no damage. Don't go anywhere more Tuesday night baseball after this. Mike Fires will take over on now the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 50, Mike Fires. Brian O'Grady is up oh, off the yeah. bench as he'll be asked to get oh, something started Grady. in the home half of the seventh. And now the first pitch. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. 10 home runs and 25 driven in. Fires is ready. Here's the 0 1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. 1 and 1. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Pulled toward right center field. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first down. Now back, now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Tommy Pham. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch on the way. Swing and a blooper to the right side. In comes Piscotti. He can't get there as it falls in. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it when you're flowing like he is right now. He's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. Prior to the at-bat, a check on first. And the runner back. To the plate now, Jake Cronenworth. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Runner at first here, one man out. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Not even close with the 1-0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Now a throw over. No, Runner back standing. Runner, runner, Fans runner. off and running. Grounded softly to the right. Scooped up. And he'll just step on first here to take the shoe around. And stepping in, Fernando Tatis Jr., runner in scoring position with Sudan. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. The 1-0. Oh. Ball two. Two and oh. With two outs and a base open, I don't think he's going to see anything to hit in this at bat. Not much reason for it. Here he comes on 2-0. Oh. Too tight it's with that one. 3-0. Oh. 
Manny Machado would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here. With the base open, he doesn't have to. The three one. High in the air down the right field line. And it's a foul ball. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Loriano will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One left for San Diego. They lead it six to one. Taylor Williams has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 45. Taylor. Williams. Here's Elvis Andrus now. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Pham is there and he makes the catch for the out. So now to the plate. Tony Kemp 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. A couple of lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. Two and oh. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Full count, here it comes. in the air out towards shallow right. Myers is under it and he makes the catch for the second out. So that brings up the always oh, intense good. Matt Chapman. <laughs> Two away here in the eighth Matt. and time's running out on him Danny. Yeah they don't have a lot of outs left to work with so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled off. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And a pitch in the one dirt one. as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top, but he was able to lay off it. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. 
into the windup and the pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Myers going back onto the party porch and gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 18 for him on the campaign. As the lead is cut to four, it's six to two now. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Stepping in now, Matt Olson. Matt. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1 and 0. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Lifted the other way to left center. Fam finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. But the A's inch a bit closer thanks to this solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the Padres six and the A's two. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, the Manny Padres. Machado. The third baseman, Manny Machado. First pitch on its way. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0-0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Machado now on 0-1. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Swing and a liner, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. One ball, two strikes, down. And a slider. Oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Well, no preferential treatment there. Now Sometimes we right see field. great hitters have their calls yeah. go their way on close pitches, Fire. but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. So now to the plate, Will Myers. Hit the other way out toward right field. Heading after it is Piscotti. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So the next to bat will be Trent Grisham. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First offering. Bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and a strike. One and one. Right side, but it's well fouled. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. They lead it six to two. Matt Strom comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 55, Matt Strom. New inning set to get underway, and up next will be Ramon Laureano. Number 22. Now the first pitch. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Strom, 
a rare ball player from North Dakota. He was a 21st round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Count now a ball and a strike. The 1-1 pitch. Nope, that's a ball. Fly ball out toward left center field. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Late now, Chad Tinder, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And it's fouled away. Here's the one and one delivery. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. Loriano leads off second with nobody out. Had a good cut there, but he can't time the breaking ball. That evens us at two and two. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Now a rocket deep down the line in left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Now that never say right never through. in this game, folks. It's late and the clock it's is ticking, it. but that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. At the plate, Stephen Piscotti. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. In the dirt, and now let's see. Throw goes over to third, and oh, they say he beat the throw safe at third. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. Now the 2 0 home. That's ball three. Sean Murphy, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. A runner in scoring position with none out. Three and one. He must know something we don't know. That was a center cut heater with count leverage in a big spot. I, I don't understand why he's taken. Hit on the ground is short. Throw will get him at first for out number one, but on the play, another run will come in to score. And now here back. with the infield back, they were Sean. giving him the run on a ground Murphy. ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Now Good approach. Keone Kella comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Kella. Sean Murphy. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one.
hard hit at third. Taken in by Machado. On to first, and now the A's are down to their final out. Seth Brown will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 15, Seth Brown. Set and the pitch. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. Put that in a memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. And the 2-1. Three ball. A 3-1 count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. And he lays off. Nope. Ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them. And that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And it's back to the top of the lineup now for Elvis Andrews. Here it comes now to Andrus. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. And he fouls this one off. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. Last strike now for Oakland. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. And now this crowd right around 34,000 fans comes to their feet. Now a foul tip of the plate and you can hear that one ring off the catcher's mask as he stays alive. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Two out with the man at first. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Grounded to short. He's got it. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. Well, just another day in the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last? A 6-4 finish in tonight's affair. The San Diego Padres jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Chris Paddock gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year as he allows only two hits in five-plus innings of work. So that will wrap things up. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Wachney, and our whole crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious San Diego Padres. Six runs, nine hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Athletics, four runs on five hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 17 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please Drive home safely. So you learn what has the best way. Muffins come for free, they free, they free. So you learn what has the best way. Let your hope come from fight and go through the darkness.
Beautiful.